G'day, I'm Grant from Motion. With me today is Richard from Loctite. G'day, Richard. Thanks for having me along. It's a pleasure, and I see we've got the Loctite 401 and the 406. Look, I'm going to make a confession here. I love this product. You know, it sits at home. Uh, I use it uh, on various applications, and I've had success with it over, over a long period of time. So it's a, for me, it's a hero product. Yep, I'm in the same boat. I yeah. use it all the time yeah. as well. I love these products because they're so quick. Mm. So um, CAs or cyanoacrylates, um, are really good at bonding a variety of different substrates and they do it quickly. Yeah. And so I wanted to sort of demonstrate the difference between 401 and 406, uh, put people's minds at rest. If mm -hmm. they've got 401 or 406 at home, it mm -hmm. will bond majority of substrates. Right. We've got the luxury of having both. So I tend to look at 401 that bonds metals a little bit better mm -hmm. and 406 is more geared towards plastics and sure. rubbers. So I'll do some quick demonstrations yep. here to show the power. So Loctite 401 is the first product up. And we've got two metal wing nuts. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, and remember there's a little trick here, Grant, less is more. Wow, that's okay. something new for me. So you suggest me, as, as a manufacturer, you want me to use the lessier product. Yes, oh. I don't want you to flood the area. This is going to be good. So we want to actually put three small dots, or th th three small drops. One, two, three. Well, these are learning for me already. I would have done the whole lap of the product and Brilliant. had it running down my arm. Bring the two substrates together, yep. so we'll hold it there for one, two, three, four, five seconds. Yeah. And then see if you can twist those apart. It shouldn't be hard. Or maybe it is. Yep. So did you give it a really good... Nah, sorry mate, the fingers good. won't take any more than that. Yep, so it's bonded instantaneously. That's incredible now. when you think about the time. Five yep. seconds and we're at that point. You're good to go. Yep. Less is more. Uh, this product draws moisture out of the atmosphere, yep. so if we cake the area or overflow fill the area, mm -hmm. it's going to be trying too hard yeah. to draw moisture out. It's going to take too long. That's why you can sort of move it around if you've got a lot. Less is more, bonds quickly, instantaneous bond. 401, love it. Yep. Then we're going to move on to 406. Mm -hmm. As I said before, we've got the luxury of having both. This one tends to bond yeah. rubbers and plastics. We've got something here which is quite a common plastic out in industry, mm -hmm. ABS. Yeah. And again, what we might do is just put one drop. Don't need to flood the area. Yeah. Mental note, yes. One. Bring the lap shear or two pieces together. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Now what we're going to do is try and pull okay. it apart. No, that's nothing. No. You know, I mean, with your experience, you know, and extensive industry knowledge, I imagine when you go into site, you must see instances where the incorrect application of this product. Yes, yeah. or, this, or we see things that are broken or damaged yeah. and we know that this particular product can fix it and take yeah. that problem yeah. away. And the simple solution is, hey, you've used too much. Yep, you've used too much, <laughs> yep. So we've bonded plastic, we've got yep. rubber here as well. Um, so we typically use 406 to mm -hmm. make customised O-rings. Yeah, made a lot of O-rings oh, over my time. Um, and I think uh, the lesson for me is possibly the same. Yes. Um, maybe using just a little bit too much product. Yep, so I just yep. want to Make sure that I'm lining it up. Surface. Yep. yep. So less is more again. Mm -hmm. So one small drop. Well, that's a very small drop when you think about it, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So I bring the two together. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, five seconds, and you reckon we're, we're pretty well good to go. And I might have used a little bit too much, but yeah, yeah we should be able to okay. pull on that. That's the game nowhere. Yep. So yeah. you can see even with that O-ring one we've done previously. Yep. Try and break that O-ring. Yep. Ah, she's, she's good to stay, that one. Comes one. You will actually break the substrate before you break the bond line. Incredible. So we can see that there. So two great products, very versatile. If we have difficult to bond mm -hmm. plastics, we can use a 770 primer. Yep. We don't have that here today, but we just chemically etch the, the surface. So if it's a difficult to bond surface mm -hmm. or you think, what do I do here? Mm -hmm. I would reach out to a motion representative yep. or someone from Loctite to discuss the substrate. So they could reach out to someone like you, Richard. 100%. Direct Fantastic. Line yep. Thanks very much, Richard. If you'd like to know more about the uh, 401 or the 406 range and specifically how it can relate to your application at site, reach out to your nearest motion branch.